Hello, 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 my Just Be Beautiful family. It's been a minute. I know I keep saying that, but listen, it's been a minute. Um, so the intro of this video is going to be me talking and finishing out my skincare. This is my Mario Badescu. What is this one? The, oh, cucumber and green tea with aloe facial spray. I absolutely love this. I already have my moisturizer on, but I always like to put just a little, little bit extra in the skin. Today is review time. I picked up a couple of um, new things, mainly this baby right here. This is the Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint from Fenty Beauty. I'm very sorry, my phone keeps going off. Um, I'm very excited to pick that up. Although I have tried the foundations, I have actually never tried the Pro Filter Concealer, so I also picked that up from Sephora and just re-upped on a couple of Fenty products that I had ran out of. I know I had dropped my Mocha Mama on the floor. I needed to replace that. And I also needed to get myself a personal size of the Cashew Powder. So, but today, um, well, here we go. This is the Scandinavia Makeup Primer. This is the Oil Control Spray. This is what I use, especially mm, in the summertime. I can really feel the difference with how it controls oil on my skin. So I also like to do that for my primer. I, I don't know what this is doing. It's not actually drying anything, so but whatever. Um, and lastly, just a bit of my Tasha, the soap canvas. I have tried the liquid one. I still like this one. I like to just put it on anywhere I need some smoothing. So I just do that and we can just keep going. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is my skin prep right here. Just where I like to be smoothed out. So, what do we know about the Easy Drop? Um, I'm actually gonna pull up my Sephora app so that I can get like all the ins and outs of everything. I should have had it pulled up. While that's going, I'm actually going to do a little bit of my color correcting. If you guys have a suggestion for a color corrector, please let me know. Because when I tell you, this right here, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. These are the best. The freaking best um, color correctors I've just, whether it's pro use, personal use, whatever. Th that, the best. So I do like this to be a little damp. And... Yeah, so, is my phone up? All right, so this is the Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Um, I'm not quite sure how many shades it has. It looks like it has a lot. It goes up to shade 25. Well, from one to 25, so 25. For a skin tint, that's a lot. And there's a really wide range. It says lightweight, uh, buildable light to medium coverage. The skin tint that leaves skin looking blurred, smooth, and flexible shades for all. The finish is natural. The formulation is liquid. Um, it's free of parabens, vegan, gluten, cruelty-free. Yeah, it has a hydro blend complex, um, humidity, sweat, transfer-resistant formula. I love it already. I love to hear it. You know, transfer-resistant, especially now with us still still wearing mask every day is always a um it's always a plus to have something that's transfer resistant so under my eyes i'm still using the la girl pro conceal this is in the shade peach i think yeah this is peach and this is orange so i want this to be super bright under my eyes so i do go with something lighter although the orange is just fine and I do have on an under eye cream. I also um, use my Nick Townsend eye patches, the gold ones, because they hydrate under my eyes fabulously. So I am all ready 
one of the things I did want to do, I wanted to use, this is my Juno, um, this is the velvet sponge. This is like the original one that everybody went crazy and it was like sold out forever. So we're going to use this and we're just going to get right into it. Just going to shake it really, really well. And I think I'm going to try this side first. Just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Let me zoom you guys in. Right there. Yeah, that's good. So, again, that's how much I have on it. I love using these Juno sponges because they actually don't soak up that much product. Very, very little product. So, here we go. Oh my God, maybe I should do this side. <laughs> I'm always so scared of new, new foundations. So, let me just see. So far, it feels really, really good. I can tell like the places, like these are my, this is my problem area right here, where I have a lot of scarring from blemishes and whatnot, where I'm just gonna pack on just a little bit more. Mm. Even with my oily skin, I can see myself not setting this. I know, oh my God, I know, but, I can see myself honestly not setting this not setting it at all this is this is stunning this is stunning so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this part up finish the rest of my face and come back with um, you know a couple more thoughts and everything else So thus far, I have not set the foundation. It feels so good on my skin. If it literally feels like second skin, is it the most full coverage? No, but it is a blurring skin tint. Please keep that in mind. It's not gonna give you that full, like that whole, what is the one, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's not gonna give you that type of um, coverage. This is meant to be kind of like a every more I, I look at it as more of an everyday foundation I know people who wear full coverage every day but I am looking at this as more of a everyday wear kind of like you're just gonna throw it on like I even could put this on with my hands and just rub it in as if it was moisturizer but I did want to try the sponge because I'm like so in love with this sponge by the way um I am actually going to put on a little just a little concealer and then we can take a look. This is number 360 in the Pro Filter Concealer. If I am really looking for something that's like, you know, a little bit more on the lighter, brighter beat side of things, could I go lighter? Yeah, I could. I probably could have went with like a 340. But this 360 just seemed to fit so well and I really do like it um just gonna lift my eyes a bit with this and again because this is just like a try on it's just like a review I'm not going all out like I'm literally going to be in the living room so I'm setting my under eyes with cashew and I love this a lot of people don't like her powder but I feel like with powder it's you know it's subjective i think powder has to do with your skin type it has to do with what exactly you want it to do i love this powder but also keep in mind that i have extremely oily skin um i had to go through a lot of cover jesus moments a lot of um what's the word i'm looking for skincare yeah i had to do a lot of skincare to get my skin to where it is now. Please excuse the dog. He stay working at people. So 
it is this is like one of my favorite powders for oily skin besides the um makeup forever matte loose powder i'm really really loving loose powders and this like really gives you that airbrush like flawless look to set the rest of my face i am lightly going into a bit of laura mercier translucent i don't have like my facial shade in the Fenty because I would honestly set the rest of my face because it controls her powder controls oil so well and it's almost like I hear people say like oh my god it's so drying but my first question is do you have dry skin do you even have combination skin if you do did you moisturize first of all to use this powder but because I don't want anything to get in the way of the coloring of this because the coloring is like spot on I am just going to ever so lightly set the rest of my face and I'm not even using that much powder this is not let's talk about it this is not a foundation for the full beat it's just not this foundation is not the foundation for somebody who is looking for a full beat if somebody came to me and was like oh I want you know a glamorous nighttime look I need it to be red carpet ready I, I'm not using this foundation. It doesn't take away from the foundation, but this is just not the foundation that I'm using. I'm also going in with Mocha Mami. This is my favorite. I know it's very, very red, but when I tan in the summertime, if you are somebody who tans in the summer and you get, get really, really red, like your tan ha brings out these red undertones in your skin. Trust me, this is this is the one for you. I love it. I'm just gonna go with the same brush. This skin tint, and I don't want to call it a foundation. I mean, I guess it is a foundation, but I don't want to call it a foundation. It's just, it's giving me everything that it needs to give. I absolutely love it. I'm actually going to use my Fenty mascara. That's what I'm going to do. Um, because this look, guys, I love it. This is definitely going to be my everyday foundation. Like when I do leave the house. To run errands or if I have some place to go and it doesn't transfer and it's waterproof if you're on the East Coast you know you fight with humidity you really really do like humidity humidity will will like just jack you up completely um it'll it'll just take down your whole entire makeup will slide down your face because of the humidity on the East Coast I'm just going to throw on a little mascara. I feel like it's giving my skin like this luminous veil. Like almost as if I have on highlighter, but I don't. It's very, very luminous to me. To me, it is. Even though I did powder my skin, I powdered under my eyes. It's still, ooh. It's, it's, really, it's really giving me what I need. It, it really, really, truly Okay, and I'm back. I semi finished this look out. But yeah, we're going to go into my final thoughts on everything. And this is the Fenty Beauty Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I am in the shade 20. Again, if you are looking for any comparisons, um, whether or not you're around my skin tone in NARS and I use the soft matte foundation I am the shade Macau in the makeup forever no matter what I get this is one of my favorites the ultra HD um, stick I am a Y505 in this one I'm also a Y505 in the liquid in the Dior face and body I am a 4N my skin tends to go more towards neutral and or golden it never really goes cool um however even with like how much i love the mocha mommy and i love how it looks on my skin um i can use a like a reddish undertone bronzer or a reddish undertone deeper um foundation or sculpting cream or powder to really like sculpt and contour and bronze up my face so 
I know it's kind of weird, but that's just my skin tone. But this is in, I believe it's in 25 shades. Yeah, it's 25 shades and it retails for $29.50. You can find it on FentyBeauty.com or you can find it at Sephora. I actually picked mine up at Sephora. Um, I absolutely love this. You get 1.8 fluid ounces and this is $29.50. VIB Rouge is coming up. So this should definitely be on your list. It's non-transferable. Um, it is waterproof, it's sweat proof. This is gonna be the one that helps you fight, like when you take your mask off, you have all that foundation in your mask. So there is that. I am absolutely loving this. I feel like my skin is sitting, sitting. Like I could just leave the house, go do what I need to do, run around, come back and still look absolutely flawless. Um. I'm loving, I'm loving it. And what I love the most is that it's very illuminating. Like I almost feel like I have on a highlighter. So when I give you that angle, it almost feels like I have on a highlighter, but I don't. I don't, I literally just have on my skincare, my primer, which is um, Tatcha Silk Canvas. And then I have on this skin tint, um, Mocha Mommy, and this is in the Sunstalker bronzer and I have on cashew to set under my eyes. The only thing that I used outside of Fenty was I used my Laura Mercier powder, but that's translucent. It's not going to give me this type of glow. Let me change my lighting real quick to see like what? Like when the sun, do you see this? I am loving this. Honestly, God, I am really, 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 um, loving this particular product. I have to say, I am. I'm a Fenty stan. I am. I'm a Fenty beauty stan. There isn't many products that she put out that I didn't grab, that I didn't like, that I didn't gravitate to. Um, two of the other ones that definitely should be on your list. This is her fly liner. This is the liquid liner. It's so skinny and precise. And it just lasts forever. Another one. This is the Fly Pencil Long Wear Pencil Eyeliner. This doesn't go anywhere. It's a little chunkier. You can't really get that like that preciseness with it. But for like just a basic eyeliner, tight lining, waterline. I absolutely love this. Um, I also didn't do lashes. I used the Fenty Beauty. This is the Full Frontal Mascara in Cuz I'm Black, okay? And yeah, and for my lips, I did use the NYX uh, Lip Pencil in Espresso. And on my lips, I have Cookie Jar. My heart wanted Honey Waffles, but I decided to go with something slightly different. I probably will go back and get Honey Waffles, but you guys know this has been out for a minute. I don't know what took me so long to grab this particular color because I literally stand for Fenty. Like I have all of all of these Stunna lip paints. I own all of them, every color. I don't even care if I'm, I'm gonna use the color. I'm gonna find a way to use the color, but I use all of them. I love them. The clear is my jam. Um, yeah, that is about it. This. This is about to be my little summertime banger. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm really liking this lip combo as well. Again, this is the NYX Espresso Pencil. Um, is that a pencil? Or is that, is that an eyeliner? No, it's a lip liner. It's a lip liner and it's an espresso. It's just super, super dark. I love it. Super dark, cool tone lip liners. Absolutely love. And then with the cookie jar on top. Mm, this is exactly what I needed in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first of many product demonstrations, tutorial reviews. And if you get a chance, show your girl some love. Be sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that are coming up with Just Be Beautiful. Um, and cleaning out and going through a bunch of stuff, I have found so much footage that I'm just gonna be like, you know what? Just, yeah, I'm just gonna put it out. I'm gonna have a couple of throwbacks for you guys. It's, it's some real, true, tried and true throwback products that need to get 
like some some real recent love so until next time guys i hope you enjoyed the video bye